Hey guys, Patrick1969, and I just wanted to show you how far I've gotten on my custom. And uh, I haven't really gotten a chance to work on it for too long. Uh, I've been in and out of it just simply because I was waiting for everybody to show me how far they've gotten. But, um, so with that being said, I, I have made a few um, uh, changes so far. And the changes have been pretty much... Uh, um, done cosmetically, stuff I had to do myself, and then with a few spare parts as well. But uh, other than that, um, I think you guys are going to be really surprised. So um, the first thing I want to say is that everybody had uh, the same idea with the skirt armor. That's um, Joshua and Dotto, and I was kind of thinking about it too, but then, um, I mean, as soon as I saw on camera uh, the last update I posted that the normal ground type Gundam's skirt armor just wasn't looking right and I wasn't going to be able to get all the detail that I wanted. So, um, upon seeing Joshua's video update about his Blue Destiny, he showed that he was using the Easy 8 um, uh, crotch area cockpit, or er, armor. So, um, I decided to go that way. Um, oops. Let me get it, it fell. So as you can see, the armor, actually let me go ahead and take it off. The armor comprises, or is of uh, the ground type Gundams, just simply because I already started working on the back piece, and I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, the Easy 8's uh, crotch area. I uh, filled in the little, uh, little marks right there that you can see with a little bit of epoxy sculpt just to make it smooth. So that when it's painted, you won't have those dents in there uh, showing up in the detail. Still have to do the panels on here, but I think Josh, Joshua had a pretty good idea with using the, um, what do you call it, the heavy arms. I haven't looked at them and compared the size of the armor yet to put on here, but um, if anything doesn't work out, I'm just probably going to have to do it by hand and make it with epoxy sculpt. Uh, speaking of which, I actually made the back panel for the Easy 8's uh, back armor there. So uh, that's all ready to go. I have to still do the little triangle up there if I can. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the chest armor, I haven't, or the chest piece, I haven't really gone too far. Last time I think I already put epoxy sculpt in there and sanded that down. I did add a vent and. Um, started on the midsection or the, the lower por portion of the torso. I don't know if I'm going to just draw lines on there or actually try and carve them in, but um, I have to still figure that out. Uh, I'm really just waiting on everything else to finish everything else before I start this because this seems like it's going to be the longest and I, I want to be able to understand how to do everything, sculpt and everything like that, before I take on this beast. And, uh, but I have added uh, the vent that goes on the bottom there. I think it's protruding a little too much, but um, I kind of like it. And the vent was actually uh, came from a Shining Gundam's uh, Corlander. And uh, it's one of the vents in the back. I thought it worked out really well. And uh, that's pretty much it. The backpack hasn't been touched much. Um, again, I'm just waiting on just... Honing on, honing in on some of my skills just to make sure I'm doing it right before I tackle on uh, tackle this one. Um, Dotto already showed that. Uh, actually, let me get a bare piece right there that I haven't touched. Uh, Dotto was talking about skirt armor or ankle armor. He had the uh, he has the right idea with using the Easy Eights ankle armor, uh, but what I did was actually. Uh, what I did was I just got the regular ankle armor from the ground Gundam that I was using and uh, trimmed it and then added the ankle armor Oops, from the Easy 8 that uh, was also trimmed a little bit. Um, I still have to put epoxy sculpt on it just to make it all fit and then I'm going to probably shave it down to make it a little bit thinner. Um, but if you put it into a leg, which I'll show you in a minute, it, it does uh, look really good. And speaking of leg, leg I have gotten one well, partially complete all the way. There's just one little thing missing. Um, but so far, here's what I've gotten. Um, 
The yellow piece right there, the trim, that's from a God Gundam, or Burning Gundam, from one of his little spikes from his forearm. Um, as you can see, that's the uh, Ultron side calf armor, or whatever you want to call it, from his leg. I trimmed that off, and then I glued it on there and put some epoxy sculpt to uh, be able to trim it down. Still needs to be a little bit more sanded, uh, or smoothed. Uh, out and stuff, but I, I actually think it looks really, really good so far. Um, paint job's going to pretty much cover up all the little scratches and stuff, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, this part right here, there's a thruster down there, a little little bitty thruster. I'm going to be using uh, just a little bit of scrap, uh, scrap thrusters that I've shaved off uh, um, uh, Alex Gundam and then putting that on there and actually cutting it in half and actually uh, putting first half on this side and the first half on this side and then using epoxy sculpt to connect the two to make it stretch out but uh, so far there's there's one leg armor and I'm really happy with it it's uh, smooth on this side and going up that side so I think I really caught it or captured it the uh, Blue Destiny's leg pretty well. This, along with the chest, are the two um, hardest pieces, so I don't think uh, I'm going to have much trouble with the chest when it comes time to do that. Um, I am kind of low on parts. Actually, let me, let me show you how it looks so far. So there's... There it is, unpainted. It should look really, really good. Can't wait. But, um... Anyways, I am running low on parts. There are certain parts that um, Josh Wingandamu and Dotto um, suggested using that would actually be really perfect, um, such as the shoulder armor. I don't have ground type shoulder armor to spare, and I don't have. Um, I really liked Josh Wingandamu's idea on using the um, what do you call it? The Noble Gundam's shoulder armor to uh, make the Blue Destinies. So uh, Joshua or Dotto, if you guys are watching this, or anybody in general, if you guys can spare some parts, I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> uh, if not, then that's okay, but yeah, I'd really, really appreciate those parts if anybody could spare them. And uh, of course I could pay for postage or do a little trade or whatever parts you guys need. But uh, anyways, so there's my, there's my little update, and I hope you guys um, liked watching what I've done so far. I promise to get more done um, over the course of the week because after watching everybody else's videos and stuff, I'm, I'm way more motivated to start uh, completing at least the, the lower torso and stuff. And so this time next week or um, another two, two weeks, I'm, I might have something really, really great for, to show you guys. But, uh, yeah, all I have done is a leg. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.